you may wonder where I am right now. Um, best way to describe it, on a motorway. Been in the traffic for about three hours now, Dan still. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but I've got to make it seem quite exciting. The motorway has completely froze, but I thought I'd take you. out of the car so you can see around it what is going on in that. So I'm out of that here with a lot of tailback and as you see just when you've had something organised and you want to go somewhere it's like uh, but uh, I thought I'd share this experience because I'm so bored out of my head right now um, nothing else to do Hi, I'm Miles Blade376, and with me is Peter Geriatric1927. Hello. Oh, I did get it right then, didn't I? Because I, I don't want to get it right. So we, we're getting each other's numbers right now, which is a good thing. I've met up with you today, and it's been a good day so far? Yeah, it's been great, yes, apart from uh, a lot of the phone calls when you got lost on the way and couldn't punch in the right numbers, but you got here eventually. Yeah, exactly. Um, crazy traffic, and uh, but it's typical. But oh, well, if that's your excuse. It is, yeah, no, it's a good excuse, because mm. everyone relates to it, so everyone knows about the traffic. So I thought we'd talk about would be um, generation gaps, because it, it would be fair to say there's a bit of a generation gap between you and I. Well, of course there is, <laughs> yes. I mean, you don't get much older than me. Of course, there are a lot of people on YouTube who are very much younger than you, Miles. Yes, of course, there's a generation gap. You were young enough to be a grandchild of mine. Yeah, <laughs> I think something with YouTube is it shows maybe a different edge which isn't reflected in the British media anyway. I don't know what it's like elsewhere in the world, but there tends to be a lot of the youths against the elderly and vice versa. Wouldn't you agree with that? Well, I don't really know. Uh, personally, I've never come across it. I've worked beside young people for many, many years when I went back into education and worked with children as young as 14 in the art class and then carried on to uh, college and university to work with people uh, of your own age. And I personally have never had any problems. Nobody's ever been uh, rude to me, disrespectful or, or anything. But of course we're all working at that situation in the same work and the same media. Right. I don't, of course, well I say of course I don't have contact with young people outside in the real world. Right, yeah. And uh, so personally I, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any problems and I don't subscribe to the view that um, young people are not hard-working, decent, fun people. I mean, we, we do have our life easier these days, but it doesn't mean, well, some people do abuse it, but I think it's always the, the minority of people who would go against the general census of what who young people are. Yeah. Because I mean, you hear about, you know, young people beating up gangs mm, and all this stuff, but that's not everyone. Absolutely not. And, of course, in, in my day... We didn't have it all thrust in our face all the time by the media who just want to hone in on That's it. on all the uh, people who are not behaving properly and the general public get the idea that um, that applies to people in general. I mean, people who might wear these um, these woolly hats or they might wear hoods. Or hoods, yeah, yeah, see, you know, no, this is a bit more what, stylish. Well, whatever, but... Um, no, I mean... <laughs> whatever, the, that's yeah. such a... You, you're getting in there with the youth now, whatever. What a, what a common expression when I can't <laughs> think of anything to say. No, it's true, Miles, isn't it? You know, I, I think a lot of old people do stereotype young people. And it's the other way around. They learn. And, and young people mm. stereotype old people. Well, I dare say they do. Yes, I, I wouldn't they? repeat it, you know, I don't want to offend you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, of, co of course they do. They think we are all, I don't know what they... Well, it's an interesting little story because... Well, we're both bad drivers, the use and, well... Well, not necessarily. Um, the, the stereotype, that is. Well, the stereotype, yeah, but I took the advanced driving test when I was 70, so I'm not a bad driver. Really? But nice one. To do with all this Zimmer's business that I've got involved with, the British radio 
they just will not handle it and it is an ageist policy that they've got yeah. and somebody phoned up their local radio station and asked if they could play my generation by the zimmers and and the dj said oh we don't do that old people smell of we and their <laughs> crap i mean you know this that was laughing at shook by the way not laughing and agreeing with it but i mean <laughs> it's a fact and there are other quotes like that so maybe maybe the youth do uh, regard us in that way i wouldn't like to think so because i personally get lots of letters from quite young people and they're often apologizing for their own peers acting so badly right and and that's how i see it anyway that's cool at your grand age um you're still using computers and you go against the stereotype of uh, not being a technophobe as it's put there why is that the case because i know we've in your past you've always dealt with computers and mm. most of my friends haven't got computers and uh, they don't see a need for them and they think they're too complicated and too hard to understand um why i did and do um i don't really know except that i've always been keen on education and i like education and i like to learn new things right and uh, the computer in itself is a good form of education good information you can pretty much oh find my anything god you yes absolutely it is the core yeah. of information um, it is these days although there's yes. a lot of rubbish on there as well, no, well there's a lot of rubbish, <laughs> rubbish everywhere. Everywhere. you yeah. fil you filter through it uh, that's true and the last thing i was gonna ask was but if i can think of it uh it related to computers i'm gonna, I'm gonna a lot of editing gonna be necessary yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's just chat for an hour <laughs> it was um no it's gone and you say as old people are you know blimey <laughs> i have my bad memories as well <laughs> good please do it it's with all the pollution out there you know is that, that's going to be my excuse. Of it? Yeah, I, yeah. I thought it might be all the beer, but I don't drink too much. I'm not. I'm not an alcoholic. I've, se I've seen your videos. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen you. I've seen you put a pint down without taking a breath. Yeah, and I can never do it again. Actually, I think it's in the moment of the camera. It was very. Mm. Yeah. It pushed the toilet paper down. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Even... I just remembered the question. I spoke to people before about how when everyone in the current day all the generations have computers together because right now it could be argued that not everyone in your generation uses computers but when everyone does it will be in when everything shifts let's say that the the generation gap will close because everyone will have youtube everyone will have more empathy for each other and sort of understand each other's positions mm. and therefore over time this gap of you know that the media keeps expressing mm. will no longer exist well, let's hope we can move towards that. I can't think that it, it would ever close completely because possibly the old can understand the young since they have been there themselves, but right. it's very difficult for young people to understand the mind and thinking of the lifestyle yes. of the elderly. But I think the main problem of... Um, not getting on with each other is that we don't talk with each other yeah. i mean children don't talk with parents i mean they grunt from the age of 13 and what have you you know and and they can't find anything in common to talk to older people about so in my opinion it's the lack of communication and whilst we wouldn't want to do the same things you wouldn't like to lead my life and i couldn't possibly enjoy going in the uni bar and no, taking that, down eight pints exactly or what whatever I was uh, by communicating there can be a closing of the gap and we can and, express each other's issues and yeah, come together yeah. and make a compromise and be, because it's more comfortable to do it to a stranger or a television or a, or a camera yeah and and therefore to increase the communication is a narrowing of the gap but let's hope it happens because I mean mm. we we sh hopefully will be a an example that it it can work and mm. well we've both got a lot to offer to each other haven't we we, we haven't, we haven't bought each other to have we you and I yeah no it's it's, it's a real fun afternoon <laughs> do, you, do you mean to answer that as well <laughs> I'm it's been fantastic when we started chatting it was always about YouTube though because that's our basis of where we're our in common common denominator yeah exactly yeah, absolutely um, yeah. 
and we were saying that in the future people will have their gas they'll have their electricity and they'll have their youtube <laughs> you know that's the only way you can really word it it'll be a necessity well we both um we both lived through quite a revolution, haven't we? Both you and I. I mean, yeah. We certainly weren't in it in 2005 when it started, but by the time we came in at whatever it was, middle of 2006, it's grown exponentially since then, hasn't right. it? So yeah. where will it go from here on? I know. I don't know. We'll, we'll soon find out. We might be making a video next year discussing that, eh? Well, it's a possibility, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you'll be alive. I don't know whether I'm <laughs> You can joke about that. I can't. <laughs> but, no, thanks for your time today. Uh, it's been awesome meeting up, mm, and uh, I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Well, it's been very nice having you, and uh, we, will, uh, we will go out and get some food. Awesome. Sounds really good. Okay. Cool.